Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And in this video, I'm going to use one of the default scenarios that comes with the XR2. It's the default scenario that is number one, ready to take off welcome and go to the ISS. Commander. All systems nominal. Thank you for interrupting me. Uh, it's uh, number one, it's the one that's to take off and go to the ISS, but I'm not actually going to be going to the ISS. I'm going to fly from uh, KSC to Habana. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch camera views before I forget. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to no orbit, which just turns off the lines for the ISS because I don't need to see those. Now I'm going to target Habana, which I don't really need to do, but I'm going to. And we certainly don't need the Align Plane MFD. So over here, I'm going to bring up an MFD that I like to use when I'm trying to land at a base, even if I'm taking off and flying somewhere is a glide slope 2 and I like to be on the HSIT which is the horizontal situation press mod to kind of circle around until you get there I'm gonna CFG uh, do the configuration and we're gonna go next base until I see Habana now the runway doesn't really matter I well maybe it does um, but I'll go with 24 and it already has is set to the XR I don't think that matters now I'll say OK and I also want to bring up Aerobrake MFD and target Habana just to have that ready because I know I'm going to use that at some point. Page and projection and to have this screen that I like. Quick visual inspection, a walk around. The air brake is not out. The retro doors are closed, nose cones closed. Everything looks good and scram doors are closed. And from the looks of things, the hover doors are closed as well. So we're ready to go. Currently facing 150 degrees, which is almost straight south, and I'm going to Habana, Cuba, so that works out well. If I were on the other runway, I'd have to take off, fly north, and then turn around. All right, surface controls are on, and the external cooling is off, so we're in good shape. All right, let's take off. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because it's Monday. It is actually Monday, December 15th. 2014 and if I don't record this video today then I'm not gonna have a video to post <laughs> so this is one of those rare occasions where I'm actually recording a video and posting it on the same day up. Gear up. and it's just because my YouTube channel matters to me and if I skip a week I'll be disappointed in myself walk. although I'm sure that's going to happen at some point uh, fun fact I had my math final this morning and right after that, I had my psychology final. Did very well on the psychology test. Uh, grades were posted almost immediately. I will not know what my math final grade was for a couple of days, but I have a very strong sense that I aced the test, um, which I'm very happy about. I'm kind of kind of glowing almost because of math. I just I like math. I enjoy the subject. Uh, whereas like psychology, I quite frankly don't really care. I just, as long as I do good enough, I don't care. But specifically with the math, I really like just getting everything right. Um, not 100% sure, but I, I walked away feeling like I did. So, and then I have a uh, one more. Uh, so I'm done with math, done with psychology, done with my networking class, done with my A plus computer hardware class. And I have one more class tomorrow for speech, and then I'm done with the semester. So I have like a one month break. I'm not actually sure why it's so long, but it is. So what I'm going to do here is try to basically fly to uh, Cuba land, and I want to get there quickly, but I'm not necessarily trying to do a speed run. But on the other hand, I don't want to take any longer than is necessary to get there. I kind of have, I've played around with this kind of flight in the past, and um, I remember, well, I used to do this with the standard Delta glider, and I would get up to something like 2,000, 2,500 meters a second, something like that and I would be somewhere around 25 kilometers, 30 kilometers. So I'm going to kind of make that my mental sort of check checkpoint. Um, might even go a little faster. The, the thing is you can't go too fast. You, although you can go faster in the XR2 than you could in the Delta Glider because the XR2 has that awesome um, AOA hold that works really well, whereas with the Delta Glider, 
uh, it was really hard to slow down in time without just blowing right past Cuba. All right, so I'm about 30 kilometers. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make maybe 40 kilometers kind of the upper limit because again, it's a short distance. It's only 800 kilometers, you know, whereas when you go to uh, KSC to Wide Awake, you know, you're flying like 8,000 kilometers. Let me get things set up though. So I'm gonna switch to this. I'm gonna go to pitch. And I'm just when I when I engage it initially, I'm gonna probably want to like slam on the brakes. So I'm gonna go to a pretty steep pitch, or rather pretty steep AOA of like 55. Oops, a little higher than I want to be. <laughs> Let's not go any more than that. That's that's good enough. We don't want to go to space. Settle it down there. Let's not get carried away. Rotation. In fact, I need to go upside down to keep my altitude in check. That was a blunder on my part. Was not intending to go any higher than 40 kilometers. So if you think this is interesting, try it yourself. Load up the XR2 uh, scenario number one to the ISS. Let's not get our vertical speed too low, so let's roll back over and give it a shot, see what your best time is. Again, I'm not really trying to do a speed run here per se, but um, whatever time I can get in this video, I'll kind of try to remember it and maybe repeat the flight a few times later on. Okay, now I can go back to surface controls. All right, we have 600 kilometers to go. Check my temperature. And we're at 3,000, close to closing in on 3,000 meters a second. I think I'm going to stop at 3,000 and coast. All right, there's 3,000. Let's coast. You can hear that uh, outer shell, outer frame warming up. So this altitude feels pretty good. I've got a lot of surface control and my temperature is okay. Probably, yeah, not surprising getting a bit of red hot glow on the outside. Okay, now according to Aerobrake, we're gonna blow right past. But that's okay for it to say that. Now the deci the, what I, the biggest factor I think here in making this run is going to be when I engage the attitude hold. If I do it too soon, I'm going to come to a dead stop over the ocean and have to swim for it. And if I do it too late, I'm going to blow past the island entirely and have to circle around and come back. Neither option is desirable. So when I do engage the AOA, I do want to make sure that my vertical speed is into the negative. That way, because when you initially engage, you're going to be pitching up and it's going to, going to want to have you climb. So I want to make sure that when I do that, my vertical speed is well into the negative. And I can see that I'm a bit off according nine. to glide slope. Nine, what's nine? Okay, 200 uh, kilometers to go, and things happen very quickly, so we gotta get ready to, oops, gotta get ready to engage that AOA very soon. Probably get a uh, wing stress warning when I do. I just know I'm gonna slow down really fast, so I just wanna make sure I don't engage too soon. Right, let's do it. Warning. Wing stress. Okay, wing stress. Hopefully everybody survived. See what I'm saying? When you engage, you immediately start climbing, so... Mach 8. I think I waited too long. Yeah, I waited too long. Okay. Mock seven. Well, now I know. I'm just trying to slow down as fast as I can. APU fuel 
Once I drop down below a thousand meters a second, I will come out and I'm gonna kind of roll over onto my canopy and dive in. Mark five. Getting ready to do that maneuver here in just a moment. I'm gonna F8 over here because I need to be able to zero out Mark my trim. Four. And the fastest way to do that is to be in this view and click there. It's unfortunate that there's not a hotkey for it. Okay. Off, zero the trim, three. back to the good view. I'm gonna roll upside down and on my- Warning, wing stress. Yeah, 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 whatever. I can handle it. Warning, wing stress. Warning, wing stress. System reset. Warning, airframe System damage. Reset. Warning, Oops. wing stress. Airframe damage. Am I burning out? Oh man. Warning. Dynamic pressure. No, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna die. Five thousand. Mock two. Four thousand. Three thousand. Ah man. Two thousand. One thousand. Four Warning. Success up. Hmm. What do you think went wrong there? Well, I tell you, it was a short enough flight. I can do it again. No, I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to go with it as is. Okay, well, we'll call that how not to go from KSC to, to Havana, and we'll try again another time. If you enjoyed my crash, leave your comments down below. Like the video if you like the video. Dislike the video if you dislike the video. And leave your comments either way. Check in the description, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.